welcome to my channel. Today will be another hair transformation video and I will show you how to get from this hair to this hair. And I will use the extensions from Vicky Fashion. I've already made a video about them uh, but it's now five months ago and I had the light lilac hair back then. You can still watch the video, I will put it here. But I receive new extensions from them now that I have the green hair and I will show you all the steps from dyeing the extensions to braiding them to installing them until I get the result that I want. And first I will show you how they arrive. Like last time they came in this lovely box that I can still use because it's black. And in the package this time also were some hair jewelry and I wear them all the time. I really like those and I will also show you how to use them. And they came in this super sweet tiny black box. And also in the package was this beautiful joker I've already worn it a couple of times. And of course the extensions. These are the same light blonde ones that I got last time because it's always easiest to achieve those colors with light blonde hair. And again they are very very soft and very nice. And um, since last time Last time my hair was quite short, my natural hair was like shoulder length, like this length. And now it's, it should be around here, but I would have to wait a long, long time to have the super long hair. Stay tuned. And I'm going to dye them now. So before you start dyeing your extensions, you need a spray bottle to wet the extensions. And a comb to apply the dye. So first you wet your extensions from both sides. To dye my extensions, I'm using the Aurora Green and Uniper Green from Luna Tights Hair. I've already tested some of the hair colors before and I always love the results. And I'm currently also wearing Uniper Green on my own hair. So for the tips of the extensions I use the Aurora Green because it's the lighter color and I would like to get a gradient effect. And for the top part of the extensions I use Uniper Green. And I also color them from both sides. After that, I will massage the color into the hair so that I get every single hair and that I don't have any yellow strains. And also to get the gradient effect, I will blend them together. After that I hang them up and let them dry for two days and then they look like this. And I think the gradient effect looks really great. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Then you need to comb the extensions so that you can braid them afterwards. And I just use a regular three braid and I think you all know this braid, it's like the easiest one. And I will make three strains out of the long extensions and only one out of the very short ones. And then they look like this. I leave the braids in for also around two days. I don't think that you have to wait for so long, but I wanted to make sure that the waves look really nice afterwards. And of course, 
because I will braid them out. And then they look like beautiful wavy hair. And I will leave these two in braids because I want to attach the hair jewelry. And it's very easy. First you loosen the studs, then you will put them through the braid just everywhere where you'd like to apply them. And then you close them. They look very badass. Sadly, I totally forgot to put them into my hair for this tutorial, but now you know how to attach the jewelry. And of course, I also had to braid my own hair the night before to achieve this wavy hair and I will braid them out. I will attach the extensions. And this is me with my own hair. The first extension that I will be using is a very long one. And I think you probably know how to install extensions, but I still wanted to show it to you how I did it. Um, even though I did a very, very messy job, you will see I'm always a bit messy when it comes to decorating myself because I don't really care if I do a perfect job, but of course, if you want to, you can do it much better and do it much more carefully. This is my hair with the extensions installed. It still looks very messy and it's not blended in very well, so I will change a bit. So I will use one strain of hair and put it on the other side. You probably have seen this hairstyle before because I do it quite often. And I think this is like a super easy way to blend in the extensions without having to do a lot because as I said before, I'm always a bit lazy and I'm always doing a quite messy job when it comes to hair. So, it works. And this is how it looks with the new hairstyle. And I also put some flowers on the back of my head so that you can't see where the extensions are installed. Of course I had to attach some jewelry because no look is complete without it. Like these beautiful sword earrings from Maya jewelry and a choker and a long crystal necklace from my own business Vespermoth. And I also designed some hair jewelry myself for my Vespermoth business and these crystal forest hair clasps are decorated with real crystals and some mushrooms that are formed out of polymer clay and they are actually in stock at my shop Vespa Moth right now. So you can go and check them out. And this is how they look installed. So this was my second VP Fashion hair transformation and I love it. I love the colors. I think they are super vibrant and I think this is totally fairy hair, so forest fairy hair. So I absolutely love it. And please let me know what you guys think and if this was any helpful for you. And thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I will see you next time. Bye bye. Because with any...